Hey guys, welcome to Windy Studio. And yes, it's time for another exciting tutorial. So if you guys haven't subscribed my channel yet, don't forget to click on subscribe and don't forget to click on that bell icon. So with that note, let's jump into the tutorial. So here we are in Photoshop and let's drag and drop this image over here. So go to edit, free transform, let's make it a little bigger. So we're like this and let's put it over here. All right, now let's create a new layer and go to brush. I will go for this brush. All right, now let's fill the background color with uh, something like this dark color and select on layer 2 and go to brush and let's change the brush color to white and select on layer 2 click on layer max let's get rid of this hot edges over here so make sure the color is black. Let's get rid of these things. All right. Now let's create one more layer. And again, go to brush. So I'll just use the same brush. Select on layer one, go to filter, go to camera filter do some adjustment so increase the clarity decrease the highlights just decrease the vibrance a little bit I'll just increase exposure and maybe increase the texture too so after that let's add a lookup table so click over here get some lookup table so from here I'll choose foggy night now let's drag and drop this image over here let's put it close to the layer one and right click create on clipping max so go to image adjustment it's a label and then just lift up some highlights all right so let's make it a little smaller so for that go to edit free transform and I'll just put it somewhere over, over here and let's change the menu darker and select on layer 4 create a clipping max after that go to brush and this time I'll just go for general brush and let's get rid of these hard edges and again make sure the color is black make a copy drag and drop go to edit free fast pump let's move it on the other side and let's put it somewhere over here enter and click on layer max go to press again and just get rid of these hard edges over here maybe let's add one more over here too Go to edit free transform. Let's put one on over here. Maybe 
sound like over here. And let's get rid of these hard edges again. So click on layer max, go to brush again, and let's refine it. All right, now let's drag and drop this fire image over here. This time let's put it above the lookup table and let's change the blending mode to screen. And here I can see the line hard edges over here. So let's get rid of this. So for that go to image adjustment and label. Make a duplicate so it's drag and drop control T um, this one somewhere over here Now let's drag and drop another fire stop over here and same thing let's change the blending mode to screen and let's make it a little darker so go to image adjustment label let's make it a little darker alright so edit transform let's make it a little smaller and I'll just keep this one somewhere over here and let's make it one more copy and let's make it a one more copy control T vertical flip I'll just put somewhere over here let's make it a little smaller wrap like this all right now let's make a copy again control T let's move it on the other side one more layer and one more copy control T it a little smaller something like this all right now let's drag and drop this image over here and this time i'll just put it under the lookup table and let's make it a little bigger edit free transform This. and let's change the color mode to darker color control T let's make it a little smaller Now select on layer 7, click create a layer max, go to brush and this time I will use 14. And let's get rid of this. Something like 
uh, let's create one more layer go to a brush and this time I'll just use the general brush let's make the brush a little smaller let's change it to overlay and let's reduce the opacity a little down create one more layer same thing change it to overlay let's decrease the opacity a little down and same thing over here let's drag and drop this image over here and same thing go to edit free transform let's make it a little bigger and let's change the blending mode to screen I'll make one more copy I'll make like one more copy again to control T make it a little smaller let's put it somewhere over here and create on this layer create on layer max let's get rid of these hard edges over here Let's make a copy, Control T, move it on the other side, let's make it a little bigger. So I would like to get rid of this, this part over here, so for that, click on layer 10 copy, create a layer max, go to brush, and same thing, create on layer 10, layer max. Get rid of this. Let's add some text. So that's the final and hope you guys learned something new from this video and see you guys in the next video.